Well, hello, my fragrant friends out there in the fragrant world. <laughs> I am Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, and I cover fragrances on this channel and also cover fashion as well. Style, give you some tips on looking good, man, smelling good, you know, grooming tips as well. So you're taking care of yourself. <laughs> so if you're into looking good and smelling great, hit subscribe. Hit the bell icon as well so when a new video is uploaded, you don't miss out. You get notified. So on today, guys, I want to be kind of covering the top 10, in my opinion, uh, designer fragrances that were released over this past year, 2023. Uh, I think it's pretty safe for me to say that more than likely, regards to uh, what else may come out in the next three weeks or so, two weeks, uh, whatever it may be we have left here in December, I probably won't really purchase any more designer fragrances. So I might as well go ahead and talk about uh, the top 10, in my opinion, that I purchased over the last year. Now, with that being said, I did purchase, I think, 15 or 16 uh, new designer fragrances and added them to the collection this year. Everything didn't make the top 10, obviously. But anyway, man, listen, I don't want to lament anymore or go on and on about how I feel about designer fragrances. I think it's now at this point been well documented uh, that I'm not that, just personally for me, not that pleased with what's been coming out because it's a repeat. Even if it's not a repeat, as it relates to a flanker, it smells like something else, like really close to something else that's come out over the past two years. So that's kind of sort of where we are. But anyway, I did purchase some. I want to tell you guys what I feel are the top 10 that I've purchased that I've added to my collection. So if you want to see what's on the list, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The coffee is back. I'm crunk. Let's go. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into the video. Now, the first fragrance, I just want to do this kind of as an honorable mention because I'm not quite sure where to put this fragrance. It's a 300, I think it's over 300, 350 bucks maybe uh, for this fragrance. And the brand, again, I guess if it were a designer brand, some people still put it in niche, but if it were a designer brand, this would still be in their like high end exclusive line, kind of like, you know, the um, Chanel exclusive line, the uh, YSL exclusive line. So to me, it's kind of not, not fair to kind of put those fragrances in with the general designer fragrance releases. But anyway, uh, this particular fragrance comes from the brand of Guerlain and this is Tobacco Honey. Now, I will tell you unequivocally, without a doubt, if I were including this on the list, this would be number one. Easily would be number one for me, a tobacco and honey fragrance. What is there not to love about that? I could tell that it's very high quality ingredients went into this. It's just a phenomenal scent, but it's kind of an honorable mention because I don't know quite where to put it, but it is nonetheless phenomenal. So from the brand of Guerlain, definitely something that you know, I thoroughly enjoy, and it's the perfect time of year to wear it. This is Tobacco Honey. All right, guys, now we can get on with the actual list. Coming in in the Tim spot, this fragrance comes from the brand of YSL, and this is Myself. YSL, Myself. This is Orange Blossom, Bergamot, pretty much, and then Broxen. Nothing <laughs> spectacular. At all, about, at all about this fragrance. Now, there was another fragrance that came out this year that I have from YSL. I think this is YSL Y Eau de Parfum Intense, if I'm not mistaken. And the only reason I, I put this one in over that one is because that one is <laughs> that one is so much like the other ones. It's so much like the YSL Y Eau de Parfum. It's so similar. To, you can't even hardly tell the bottles apart with those two fragrances. So I'm like, eh, at least they gave us a different bottle on this. <laughs> And like I said before, when I talked about this fragrance, I did a, a short on this fragrance and it does smell great. This is one of those fragrances you can't go wrong as far as like uh, wearing it and having a having to worry about going into an environment and it being, it being offensive. I'm sorry. It's very inoffensive. Smells great. Very mass appealing. The performance is not that great on it. It's about a four hour uh, max performer. 
uh, and you really, in my experience, that first two hours of people are around you, they can pick it up. After that, it's really close to the skin, so it's not a great performer. Kind of a cash grab, honestly, if I'm, uh, from my perspective. Uh, I said this should have been a part of the YSL Y line. It should have replaced YSL Y O Fresh, in my humble opinion. It smells like it came right out of the YSL Y line of fragrances. So redundant, absolutely. Anything, you know, inspiring about it? No, but it does smell great. And I like the bottle. <laughs> so the 10 spot goes to this fragrance from the brand of YSL. This is myself. I call it YSL Y myself. Almost like, why did I buy it? All right, guys, now coming in in the next spot, this fragrance actually comes from the brand of Mont Blanc, and this is Mont Blanc Explore Platinum. Mont Blanc Explore Platinum. This is clary sage, cedarwood, and violet leaves. Love this fragrance. I love typically love fragrances that have lavender uh, in it. So you get a great dose of lavender. Again, that clary sage, this is kind of sweet. Uh, a little bit herbaceous kind of feel that comes into the fragrance with the clary sage. It's just a really solid uh, release from Mont Blanc. I mean, uh, this is a brand that doesn't do uh, an excessive amount of flankers, so I give them credit for that. And this is just really a, a quality fragrance. Like I said, it performs pretty good on the skin, kind of a signature scent. So it's something that if you bought, uh, you're gonna get great, good, great value out of it because it doesn't cost a lot and it's like a signature scent that you can wear pretty much any place. You can actually wear this very casually or dress it up. And I do love the versatility that this offers, especially when you look at the uh, price point. So from a cost perspective, um, it's an affordable fragrance. So it made the list, smells really good, honestly, from the brand of Mont Blanc. Guys, check this one out. This is Explore Platinum. All right, guys, now coming in in the A spot, uh, this fragrance came from the brand of Givenchy, or Givenchy, and uh, this is called Gentleman Society. This is Gentleman Society. What you're going to get with this fragrance, cardamom, vetiver, vanilla, and the star player here to me is the Palo Santo. So that vanilla Palo Santo combination uh, are the star players to me uh, with this fragrance. And uh, this is one of those fragrances of, well, this line, uh, this brand, Givenchy, does some really solid fragrances, honestly. Uh, that whole gentleman line, uh, most of them are really, really well done, and this one was no exception. Now, what I loved about this one uh, was, of course, the use of Palo Santo. Uh, that's something that we're starting to see uh, be used a little bit more uh, now in fragrances. Uh, you saw it in Ebon Fumé. Uh, from Tom Ford and then of course Gentleman Society from the brand of Jim Inchi. Uh To me the way I describe Palo Santo it is a a softer woody note. Uh, uh, like I said almost I would compare it to the effect that sandalwood typically has on a fragrance. It really rounds out other notes and I really like that Palo Santo and vanilla combination on the dry down in this fragrance. So it's one that I feel like out of the others that were released this year is not as redundant and uh, may be worth you taking a look at it. From the brand of Givenchy or Givenchy, this is Gentleman Society. All right, now coming in in the seventh spot, this fragrance comes from the brand of MCM, which is typically known for uh, making nice quality handbags and luggage. All right, so they're not big in the fragrance space, but they released one this year and I have to give it points for creativity. Uh, and of course, not being a brand that is, um, you know, again, overly excessive with fragrances and especially fragrance um, clones or not fragrance clones, I'm sorry, with fragrance um, flankers. Uh, but this one is pretty solid. I love the bottle. This is called Onyx. Again, bottle, very creative. It looks like a, a backpack. Uh, and this is grapefruit, violet leaves, basil and tonka bean. And honestly, I could go through all these different notes and tell you what they provide in this fragrance, but I want to tell you exactly what it smells like. It smells a lot like Dior Sauvage. So from that standpoint, it's not that creative, but I had to give them points for at least being creative with the bottle presentation. And it does smell good. Now, it's not a 100% Dior Sauvage clone, but most of you, because that fragrance is so popular, once you put your nose on it, that's probably the association that you're going to immediately make. But hey, Listen, man, it's a designer fragrance. Most of these smell like something else, very close to something else. So anyway, I do love it. The brand is not something we're used to getting fragrances from. So that 
um, played a role in that in my mind because it's not a brand that's overly uh, done. You know what I mean? It's not a brand that's putting out 10 fragrances a year. So um, I did like that. And again, it's kind of a created from the bottle standpoint. Really nice presentation on it, but it smells good. One of those signature scents that you can wear kind of like Savage. But anyway, from the brand of MCM, this is called Onyx. Now coming in in the sixth spot, I think a lot of people were really pleased or surprised, pleasantly surprised by this fragrance. This brand has been pretty uh, much known for uh, doing some pretty decent fragrances, I would say, if you look at their, their history. Uh, but I think some this one just kind of caught people off guard because it wasn't really advertised like some of the other uh, major brands that advertise designer fragrance releases. But this is from the brand of Carolina Herrera, and this is CH Passion. CH Passion, what you're gonna get with this fragrance is iris, myrrh, sandalwood, bourbon vanilla, and tonka bean. All I can say is this is very, very well done. Um, earlier on in this year, when, for, when I was kind of looking at designer fragrances, this was at like really very much near the top of the list. I was pretty sure it would stand the test of time just as it relates to this year and probably being one of the better designer fragrances, re fragrance releases of this year. And I was 100% correct. Really, really like this fragrance. Um, it is well done. And the best thing that I give this fragrance points for is it doesn't smell like uh, anything else on this list. And it doesn't smell like anything else that's come out over the past two or three years. And that's been really an issue, a major issue for designer fragrances. So many things smell like something else and not just smelling like something else, but a lot of these smell like something else that was released recently. That's a major issue. But anyway, solid release from the brand of uh, Carolina Herrera. This is one that I think is definitely worth picking up. This one's called CH Passion. Bottle was dope too, check it out. All right guys, now coming in in the fifth spot, uh, this fragrance comes from the brand of Bulgari and this is Bulgari Man Rain Essence. Love the bottle on this one, check it out. All right, and what you're gonna get here is tea, musk, white lotus, and gaiac wood. All right, now, rain essence. So in this fragrance to me, that tea, which again, tea kind of gives a calming effect to a fragrance. And you think about, that's the kind of mood a lot of folks are put into. You hear people oftentimes talk about taking a great nap uh, when it's raining or right after it's raining. So I love the creativity there. So the tea gives you that kind of relaxing vibe. And when you combine that with that white lotus, which really gives that rain effect, all right? This kind of gives this light airiness to the fragrance. And it's just very well done. This one smells phenomenal. Now, when we get back around to the spring and summer, I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this fragrance because it's really, really well done. You think about, it's so aptly named. And then you think about when I look at the notes that was put into this and how it kind of gives that after rain kind of effect. Very, very solid fragrance. So again, another one I think worth looking into or checking out. Uh, these Bulgari fragrances often do hit discounts. It's probably in discounts now. One I think you guys should get your nose on from the brand of Bulgari. This is Bulgari Man Rain Essence. All right, now coming in in the fourth spot, um, I talk very highly of this fragrance. I'm very impressed with this brand as it relates to some of the fragrances they released over the past year. From the brand of Polo, Ralph Lauren, this is Ralph Club Elixir. Ralph's Club Elixir, what you're gonna get on uh, this one, some of the main notes to me are orris, cardamom, lavender, and leather. Very well done. Again, very well done. Uh, it was definitely, when you compare this to the original, there was a departure there. Uh, so they're not like the same fragrance, which again, you know, they need to talk to YSL by, all right? That whole line, but anyway, very well done. Uh, to me, leather fragrances in the designer realm, uh, you don't have as many great leather fragrances. Like you can find hundreds of great blue fragrances when you talk about designers. You can find hundreds of great those very sweet vanilla tonka bean kind of fragrances in designer fragrances, but you don't get a lot of great leather fragrances and this has a great presence of leather. Um, and that's what I really love about it. You know what I mean? So there's a unique factor to this one and it's very well done. Bravo, shout out to the brand of Polo 
uh, Ralph Lauren. This is a very, very solid release right here. Worthy to be on my top 10 designer releases of this year. So check it out. Again, this is called Ralph's Club Elixir. All right, guys, I'm coming in in the third spot. We're going back to back. And uh, honestly, as you can see, it's the third spot. This is one of my favorite designer fragrance releases of this year. Again, from the brand of Polo, Ralph Lauren. This is Polo Red Parfum. Polo Red Parfum. Blood Orange, Absinthe, Lavender, and Musk. Not anything overly complex about this, but it just smells phenomenal. This if I talk about bringing that whole compliment factor out of all these fragrances on this list this year, this has gotten the most compliments. It's that kind of scent profile. Smells great. That original, the original uh, Polo Red was known for that blood orange note as well. So I'm glad that they kept that here. But it kind of amped up the sweetness in this one, man. That Tonka bean, orange uh, note, orange blossom kind of combination here is just you know, again, to die for. Love this fragrance. I had a smaller bottle that came with this and I gave it to my son. He ran through it. And um, he's been getting a few uh, wears out of this bottle, bottle as well, uh, just like myself. But I really like this one, man. Is there anything that's gonna be mind blowing, my, um, game changing, uh, overly, you know, super unique? Not, no, it's not, but it smells great. It smells great. It performs pretty good as well. And again, it's one that really, uh, in my experience, when I have worn it, has been something that's been very well received. Um, so anyway, um, check this one out, guys. I really, really like this one from the brand of uh, Polo. This is Polo Red Puffer. All right, guys. Now, coming in in the number two spot on the top designer fragrances released in the year of 2023. This one is from the brand of Giorgio Armani. This is Aqua Digio Parfum. Aqua Digio Parfum, what you're going to get here is rosemary, clary, sage, geranium, and patchouli. And, man, when you really, when I really look at this fragrance, what I really get from this is a combination of uh, Aqua Digio Profondo and Aqua Digio Profumo. So Profondo and Profumo, I really think that's what they did with this one. Because out of all the Aqua Digio flankers, Profondo was the most green to me. It had that very kind of green heart in Profondo. So you get that here with that rosemary kind of gives that minty vibe to this fragrance and that clary sage. So you got that. And then on that dry down, you have that patchouli and they use orbitum, which is really incense. So you got that patchouli and incense, which you got from uh, Profumo. Um, yeah, from Profumo. And uh, so it's kind of a combination of those two fragrances in one, but this thing is just, man, this thing is good, man. Listen, flankers, that's what it is. And that's what where the designer fragrance market is right now for the most part. This was just one of the best. And it comes from a lineage of fragrances, you know, that all of them are solid. I mean, there's no slouches. When I look at that uh, Aqua Digio line, there's no slouches there. From the original on down to the Parfum, they're all very, very solid fragrances. It's just, at the end of the day, my favorite is Profumo. So you gave me Profumo with a little bit of a more uh, fresher take. Um, so anyway, Dynamite. Definitely worth picking up from the brand of Giorgio Armani. This is Aqua Digio Parfum. All right, guys, and coming in, the number one spot. The number one spot this year comes from the brand of Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is Lamel Elixir. Lamel Elixir. This is lavender, mint, benzoin, honey, and tonka bean. You know that lavender and mint is going to remind you of the original. And then it's just all about these sweet, more resinous kind of qualities with the tonka bean in here and the honey. Guys, this thing is phenomenal. Um, my son wore this the other day and I kept on like, gosh, man, you smell phenomenal. I wore it the next day. <laughs> <laughs> because smelling it on him is just really gave me a chance. Because it's kind of different sometimes when you smell it on somebody else. It gave me a chance to really get the essence of how it smells on somebody else other than myself. And man, this stuff is just a an amazing release from John Paul Gaultier. And what I love about what they was able to do here was give you some of the original John Paul Gaultier. The lavender and mint, two of the main notes that are reminiscent of that original release 
which is a classic, of course. I think it was released in 1996. And then you come in 2023 and you give us a taste of that, but give up all these, you know, again, warm, sweet, kind of balsamic notes here and just really change the game for designer fragrances in 2023 as it relates to what was released this year. This was a game changer. Thank you to Jean-Paul Gaultier for doing that because a lot of the other ones were eh, but this is phenomenal. From the brand of Jean-Paul Gaultier, and I think it's fitting that it looks like an Oscar. They deserve one for this one. This is LaMail Elixir. But that is it, guys. That is my time, man. These, in my humble opinion, at least from the ones I've got my hands on, were the top 10 designer fragrances released in 2023. What are some fragrances, some new designers that were released this year that you enjoy yourself that were not on this list? Hey, I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. And as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments out to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Voltaire Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you. Flip side.